Well, let's talk some more about this latest development regarding the speakership tussle at the 10th Assembly. Bringing up now State House correspondent Femi Akonde. Hello there, Femi. So, interesting happenings uh, from the State House. But tell us more about the meeting between the President and this, uh, some of these top contenders who have now chosen to step down for Honorable Abbas. Yes, uh, it now seems as if Honorable Tajuddin uh, Abbas uh, might just um, get a walkover on uh, the day the House of Representatives, the 10th House of Representatives, will be inaugurated because it appears, uh, some people are saying that it appears he's coasting home to victory with um, the recent development that is uh, of where the withdrawal from the race of uh, Honorable Betara, Aliu Betara, Mukhtar Aliu Betara, and Yusuf Gaji. You know, before now, these were two major contenders that uh, their campaign was gathering steam, and a lot of people felt that this. Uh, two lawmakers could uh, actually uh, pull a surprise on the day of inauguration, uh, especially uh, against the zoning arrangement of the All Progressives Congress. But you know, uh, the President, Bola Tinubu, has been meeting with uh, lawmakers trying to ensure that there's a rank of free election for, for the position of Speaker. He has met with several uh, of the candidates separately in different, uh, at different times. He also met with the whole uh, members of the National Assembly. He has met with members of the opposition, pa uh, uh, opposition party, the National Assembly, separately. So it appears as if all of this is um, yielding results, and we just wait to see if, if uh, those remaining in the contest, especially uh, uh, Honorable Ahmed Wase from Plateau State, who is a Deputy Speaker of the Ninth House of Representatives, and Honorable Sada Soleil from Katina State, we wait to see if they also will step down from the race uh, in respect for the zoning arrangement of the All Progressives Congress. Kemi. Ahmed Wase, well, up until well, today or so, he insists he's still in the race and is willing to slog it out uh, with the party's preferred candidate. But uh, any clarity as to what this deal, what is in this deal for uh, Mr. Betara and uh, Gaddi? Well, we do not know the details of um, that deal. It was brokered in the house of uh, the, at the residence of the president. All of that happened behind closed doors. But I believe that, you know, the president, being someone who has also served in the National Assembly as a senator, and his vice president, Kashim Sesichetima, also uh, served as a senator in the, tenth, in the ninth National Assembly. You know, they were able to bring their experience to bear. Also, the Speaker of the House of Representatives in the tenth, uh, national, ninth National Assembly, National Assembly, Speaker Femi Gajabi Amila, who is now the Chief of Staff to President Bola Metinubu. You know, these men were in the meeting they had with uh, Yusuf Gadji and uh, Aliu Betara. So we believe that, you know, they used their years of experience as legislators uh, to. Uh, persuade uh, Gadji and Betara to pull out of the race. And, you know, they say it is in the interest of the country because they also say the zo APC zoning uh, arrangement is for equity, fairness, and justice. So they asked these uh, lawmakers, Betara and Gadji, to respect the APC zoning arrangement, to place it above their own personal ambition. But you know, especially on Abu Betara, he has consulted far and wide. We have seen his billboards across the streets of Abuja, even online, paid advertisements online and all of that. So these men have invested so much into their campaign to become speaker. I just... Uh, uh, about 48 hours to the D-Day, they are pulling out of the race. Well, they say it's in the interest of the country, and we also gather that President Bola Tinubu is pleased with uh, this uh, gesture. Uh, well, what he is saying is that he looks forward to a close and mutually beneficial working relationship between the National Assembly and the executive arm of government. And that is why he's uh, so involved and keenly interested in the race for the speakership and also to ensure that uh, at the end of the day, the lawmakers are able to form a consensus. Kemi. All right. Uh, correspondent there, State House Correspondent, Femi Akonde, bringing us updates regarding uh, our big story at this time, regarding uh, the fact that Ali Obetar from Borono State and Yusuf Gaji uh, have
both stepped down for the candidacy of Honorable Tajuddin Abbas to emerge as Speaker. We'll see how it goes, uh, Femi, after today.